Hey guys, it's Demandred1957. Welcome back to 7 Days to Die. It's currently the morning of day 48, and we're at the iron mine right next to the Bear Den, which coincidentally happens to be the POI that we have to clear out for the trader. I've been down in the mine mining. Well, actually, the last video you saw, I said it would be the day 46 that we'd be... Uh, joining up on but now nah, I lied I decided to gather resources for a 24 hour period just so I could have enough to face the day 49 horde because I have a feeling it's going to be pretty hairy and in the meantime I did as I sh did show you I went ahead and built the proper motorcycle something that can actually hit a dog without doing a complete flip and uh yeah, really, that's all that's been going on. There wasn't anything interesting to show you, and I needed the resources, so that's what I did. But now, I think I've got enough iron. The, the forge in the trader's compound is totally full, and it's cranking out steel as we speak. So, yeah, we're going to do this POI, and uh, maybe do one down by the lake. Because I think there's a little POI there I want to show you for a reason a little bit later. So let's go over here and clear the bear den out. And then we'll go do some extra stuff. Make sure we got our junk turrets ready to rock and roll this time. Not even going to mess around with them. Going to drunk drop junk in here. And he promptly fell right through the damn floor. That's really annoying. Well, come on. I know you want some. Already dead. Don't know if she was or not, but she definitely is now. Okay. Joy, joy. Right off the bat, we gotta find our junk turret here. Oh boy, I got a feeling this is gonna take a minute. Alright, I'm going to bring you guys back as soon as I find Junkie. We can't be having this. Well, that wasn't too awful bad. Yeah, that's a really bad bug where it drops through the floor and whatever. Lands wherever it wants, especially since that was my level 4. Okay. I am critically low on AK-47 ammo, but I do have a good dash of 9 mil on me. That is one thing I did other than mining. I did make the rounds of the traders, and I got all the ammo they had on them, basically. So I'm hoping between the turrets and the pistol... And maybe we'll find some more ammo today, although the horde is tomorrow. So I don't know how much ammo we're likely to find in such a short period of time. But we'll look around. Uh oh, sound like we got a wandering horde. You guys gonna come mess with me or not? Well, 
best defense is a good offense, am I right? Come on, guys. Sick him, junkie. Ow, son of a bitch. We're gonna pay for that. That's right, torque it, big mama. Well, hello, nurse. Damn you. Pain in my butt. Well, they did drop two loot bags, though. All right, now, back to what we was doing. All right, there should be a whole bunch of hazmat suited guys in these tanks although why they would be there I have no idea and say ignores the convenient door continues to beat on the bottom of the tank brilliant Oh, what do we got here? Oh, another level one military vest. Challenge I don't care anything about. Acid, cool. So I think we are going to build the 4x4, assuming we live long enough to make it. Kim station. <laughs> well, where are you coming from, guys? Yes, no, maybe. Hey, come back down here. <laughs> Hit you right in your ass. Level one hunting knife. Nice. Something else to sell to the trader when we go turn this quest in. Mm, yeah, I guess we could go up that way. Oh, I think actually that's the way we're supposed to go. They got the lights shining on it. Yeah, door's locked. through the window, huh? Don't mind me. No running in the halls, kids. And stay down.
Really don't want to waste too much of this ammo. In case you guys are ever in this area and you don't want to mess with them, be wary of the zombies that will be on this balcony. But right here is the main loot, so all you have to do is just nerd pull your way up from the ground. It's right here. Quick and easy. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. I've got my lucky looters on. Um, not bad, not bad. Is that a better? Yeah, that's a better AK than the one I've got on me. So we'll definitely be taking that. Oh, level 2 junkie. Nice. Oh man, and I'm already completely full. Always room for more ammo though. Okay, let me tell you what, I'm going to drop down here and uh, go drop some stuff off in the bike and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Now, let's go ahead and finish looting all this stuff. Now do be careful when you go through this door. This place is called the Bear Den for a reason. We're going to go sneaky and see if we can lay Junkie down before we wake everybody up. Especially Bra Bear over there. Maybe we'll get both of them down. Quietly, quietly. Alright, we don't need to sneak now. Nope, don't think so, boys. Alright, let's butcher these guys up, get some bones and stuff. Normally, I just put down blocks and uh, come right up the stairs there. But I thought just once we'll do it the way they want us to do it. I have a really bad habit of not going the way that they want you to, but oh well, it is what it is. Now while you're in here, make sure to harvest these other corpses because you get a lot of bones and nitrate off of them. No, found that egg in the refrigerator. Well, in this time of uh, hoarding, I'll let you in on a little in real life fact. If you get your standard eggs out of the grocery store, assuming you can find any, you can store them bad boys in your refrigerator for months at a time. No joke. If you look up old issues of the Mother Earth News on the internet, they did one where they actually... Uh, kept eggs in the fridge for a year and they was still edible. Now, I wouldn't stretch it out that long, but a couple of months, no problem. Just a little survival tip for the real world, considering it looks like it's going to hell. Okay, I think uh, that's it for down here. The only thing left is to go up on the roof and uh, kill some vultures and whatever else may be up there. I think it's just a vulture and maybe one or two zombs. Or a whole bunch of them, whatever. 
look at them all taking such a peaceful little nap. Kind of hate to wake them up. So we won't. We'll just send them from their sweet dreams straight to hell. Especially you, you stupid buzzard. And some extra cash for our troubles. All right. Yep, we're clear. Ready to go. Yeah, so you can just pull your way up just like this. Be sneaky and you can get the loot without any trouble at all. Oh, I wonder if there's actually anything there. Oh, there it is. Nice. Didn't have a damn thing in it. Okay, let's head on back to the trader, turn this in, and uh, see about what the forge is doing. Oh, you know what? Actually, I gotta take a moment to dive back into the mine and get the iron that I've been spending all that time gathering. Okay, now we're ready. Okay, another 541 forged steel on the way. I do believe I had this making junk turret ammo. Oh yeah. Let's see, 3,432 rounds worth. 2,000 carry that on us. So I can... Whoa, okay Joel. You scared me there. We will go ahead and fill this forge back full. What's up, Joel, you beautiful bastard? Thank you, Survivor. My family and I are in your debt. Here is your reward. Well, I don't know which one I want. I guess we'll take that. Got any other jobs for us, dude? Tier can 3. Can you help me with my problem? Yeah, I suppose we can. Great. I look forward to seeing you again. Now, let's sell him some of this stuff we got. Great doing business with you. Come back and tell your friends. Okay. Now let's grab this junk turret ammo. 5,138 rounds. Yeah, that'd probably be enough. Hmm. Look at that headline. Seems rather fitting, huh? We just need to put woo in front of that and it'd be spot on. Okay, let's go drop some stuff off and then we're gonna go over to the lake. So I wanna fill this multitude of empty glass jars I have with murky water and I'll show you this little POI that I'm talking about. Okay, we're finally done sorting and unloading the bike in my own inventory. So let's head over to this little lake so I can get murky water and I'll show you this POI that may be of interest to some of you new players. Because after all, not everybody wants to face the horde all the time. And if you don't want to face the horde, well I think I've got the perfect spot for you. Whoa, radical, man. Yep, 
You see that little shack out there on the lake? That's where we're going. Whoopsie. Sorry about that, Wolfie. But not really. Yeah, I don't feel sorry for you a bit. And I was just getting ready to tell you, you might want to keep your head on a swivel when you're in this area because it does spawn wolves often. Yep, that's where we're going to head. And in case you didn't know it, you can basically just walk on water to get out there. For the longest time, I was wondering if I was going to drown when I tried to do something like this or not. Nah, you're fine. All you got to do is just head on out there. Now, here's the thing. The way the game operates, they want to spawn zombies in on solid ground of some sort. Well, you know what? This thing is surrounded by water. So you come out here, if you're a new player, say it's like day seven and you just got to this area and you have no fortifications, etc. And you think you're going to be in trouble for the day seven horde. Don't worry about it. Just come out here. There won't be any vultures at that low of a level. And there won't be any zombies either because there's no dry land for them to spawn on. Now, of course, you won't get the XP because you won't be fighting anybody, but that's what you're looking for, right? There might be one or two zombies up here on the platform, but just blow their head off like that or beat them to death with your club, whatever's handy. And with no fortification at all, boom. Here's your perfect spot to face the horde. Now at later levels, you may have to deal with vultures. But at later levels, I don't know why you wouldn't be facing them anyway. Also might be a good little spot to just have you a whole bunch of forges and etc. out here on the water because it also won't spawn screamers in on top of you. So let's see what kind of goodies we got out here. really not a bad idea to, like I said, put a bunch of forges out here. In fact, I'm thinking about doing it myself. Because with the bike, as you've seen, it's only a minute or two ride to get to here. And you could have a lot of forges going all at once. Now seeing how the horde is tomorrow, and I have a bunch of supplies now, I think tonight I'm going to do just a little bit of refining on the base, and yeah, then we'll be ready to face them tomorrow, hopefully. The lack of AK ammo is a little concerning, but between all the junk turret rounds we have and the pistol ammo, I may keep the crossbow and bows on us too, just in case. And I have a few hand grenades. Yeah, I think we'll be alright. Now murky water also stacks the same as empty glass jars, so uh, it's more economical to carry them like that. And then once you get home, you can make them into bottled water or whatever you need. Now there is a little military encampment right over there. 
In fact, let's go, let's go check that out real quick. We got plenty of time, plenty of room. Be aware that, like I said, there are wolves in the area. And there will be a vulture over here. And apparently a soccer mom. Yep, that vulture. Well, where'd you go? Nice work, Junkie. take you out okay how about that yep trying to conserve ammo here no need of wasting it on these fools hey what's up Oh, come on, Mo. Give me a break, dude. Yeah, there's a good bit of resources here, too. Maybe I'll dig them up just for fun since I'm already here. Now, if you're hard up for cloth, these tents are great to cut up. Get a lot of cloth out of them. Well, it's about to be nighttime again. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you did, thumbs up would be great. The comments even better. Maybe share it on social media with your friends if you think they enjoy seeing this. And, yeah. I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow, day 49. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Bye.